Brett, the funeral service is just about to wrap up here at Christ Memorial Church in Holland. Um, at least 1,500 mourners, about 100 more than the population of Fenville itself, gathered in this church to remember Wes Leonard. About 20 miles away this morning, the, the city of Fenville was quiet and schools were closed so the city could pay its respects and celebrate the 16-year-old's life. They remembered number 35, the junior point guard, a humble star who led his team to heights never before seen in Fenville. But they also today remembered a kid who ate an earthworm for a dollar and who loved locker room pranks and who was close to God. They called him a true leader. It's been about a week of uh, incredible highs and lows for the city, its high school, and its basketball team, starting Thursday with Wes Leonard's layup that clinched an undefeated season, then with his sudden collapse, a heart attack. Then, with last night's win, without their star in front of a sold-out crowd at Hope College, where coaches and players said they felt Wes's presence and where players cried on the bench. We all have pictures, images of Wes. And he has his arm around his mother. And he's rocking back and forth. And then I see, her, see him jabber a couple easy times. It happened many times. And I was amazed that a young man who would, in front of hundreds of people, be willing to show the love that he had for his mother in such a way. Now somehow this team has to gather itself back together on the basketball court Wednesday night to play the next step of the regionals against Banger High School. Live in Holland, Ken Kolker, 24-hour news 8.